Hi, I'm Jason Stansberry and I teach in the business department here at Calvin. Uh, welcome to orientation. I'd like to talk with you a little bit about some of what you'll want to know about business uh, as you get started here. So first thing to bear in mind, business students at Calvin have a choice of majors. Uh, you can choose to major in finance, in financial planning, in human resources, or in marketing. Uh, marketing is a big major. We have three different concentrations in marketing, in professional selling, market research, and also marketing management so we uh, we've done our best to create depth in a variety of business functions so that you are well prepared to be competitive when you hit the job market you'll learn more about what all of these different majors have to offer and what kind of people maybe are a good fit for each of them when you take business 101 business 101 is the introduction to the business program here and so that'll help you uh, consider what you might like to do and maybe make a choice among majors. Uh, many students at Calvin also uh, choose to major in accounting. Uh, we offer uh, an accounting major, the Bachelor of Science in Accounting, and that's good preparation for a number of careers, including working as a management accountant, working in banking or financial planning, being a business owner. We also offer a master's degree, the Master of Accounting. That, together with the Bachelor of Science in Accounting, uh, prepares someone to sit for the CPA exam and start their career working in a public accounting firm, which is great preparation for a whole range of other careers. Accounting is a historically very strong program here. We are well known in the accounting profession, and so uh, I would commend that for your consideration. Calvin Business also offers several minors, which are popular among business majors and popular also with, uh, with students in fields besides business. Uh, certainly, if you're majoring in business, you probably wouldn't also minor in business, but many business majors will choose to minor in accounting or perhaps supply chain management or entrepreneurship, and you can meet some really interesting people from other fields in those minors as well. So uh, those are also worth considering. <clears throat> Many Calvin business majors also opt to pick up a second major or a minor in another field. Uh, we have worked hard to make sure that the business program is sized so that you have time to do that, so that you have time even to take a semester off campus. And many people are interested in business and something else, whether it's a foreign language, whether it's a social science, whether it's one of the humanities or the sciences. Uh, <clears throat> we encourage that because it gives you an edge when you hit the job market and you're competing with other business majors from other schools, but you also have a double major in something else, it sets you apart. So uh, <clears throat> we've tried hard to keep that option open for you and we hope that you'll consider what other course of study you might decide to pair with your business program. Now, what I'd like to also talk about is uh, what you need to do your first couple of years. So your first couple of years, you need to complete your business foundation. Uh, you can see on the slide, there's some courses that you ought to take your first year, some courses that you ought to take your second year. Uh, <clears throat> these, are, uh, these are what all business majors need to continue in any of the majors that I've just described. Uh, I will also point out, in order to continue in the business major, which is to say in order to take 300 level classes in any of those majors, you need to get at least a C or better in Business 101, Business 201, and Accounting 203. So uh, bring your A-game because it's important, to, uh, it's important to know that content because you'll be seeing it again in the rest of your courses. <clears throat> now then, your very first semester, we like to see people get started on the core, get started on the foundation. You can see there's uh, some courses that we recommend taking. Uh, you don't have to take Business 101 your first semester. If it's full and you take something else, that's okay. We'd like to see you take it your second semester. If it rolls to your sophomore year, then we can work around that. But, uh, <clears throat> but really, be sure, and, uh, be sure and take some of the other requirements that you have here. And we like to recommend that people try and get a variety of courses that use different parts of their brain. Try not to have a lot of problem set courses or a lot of heavy reading writing courses all at once, but get some different things so that, uh, so that the homework for one is, uh, is a little bit different rather than more of the same. My advisees, uh, when I'm talking with them about what to expect and how to succeed with the kinds of goals they ought to have on the other end of their study here, I tell them there's really three things that you ought to try and accomplish. One is get good grades in relevant classes. It's a university, that probably goes without saying. 
the next thing that you want to bear in mind is it's a good idea to have some extracurricular leadership. Employers and grad schools love to see people that have gotten involved in something besides their coursework and even gotten elected to a leadership position within that organization. So, get involved. Pick one or two, not three or four, but one or two extracurriculars that you're genuinely interested in. Uh, <clears throat> go ahead and start attending, see what you're interested in, see who you connect with uh, your first year, and then by the time you get to your second year, then you'll probably know what you really care enough about to devote time to and become a leader in. That's a great way of getting some additional experience on your resume and of getting some stories to tell uh, interviewers and recruiters about ways you've demonstrated leadership while in college. That's the second thing that I recommend to all my advisees that they do, and it is different from and unsubstitutable for those good grades and relevant classes. The third thing is you want some relevant work experience. Now, <clears throat> your first year, you're probably not going to get an internship, but as soon as your second year, you'll notice recruiters coming to campus and recruiting students, sometimes even to work during the school year for 10, 15, 20 hours a week. Many will recruit for internships during the summer. <clears throat> Businesses especially are interested in seeing candidates that already have some relevant business work experience. So we do recommend start thinking about getting an internship and your first year is the right time to get involved in life work through the Career Center. If you get involved in life work, that'll tell you a lot of what you need to know about finding an internship and then you'll be well prepared for what comes next. That's all I have to say to you today. We're looking forward to seeing you on campus this fall. Welcome to Calvin.